Hi and welcome to our release news to our release candidate 6.5. The release candidate of Shopware 6.5 is available and we invite you to test it. Download the pre-release and leave us your feedback to improve the product. This month we have not only release 6.4.20, but also the major release Shopware 6.5 is right around the corner. This major release starts with a release candidate, which gives developers the opportunity to test the pre-release version and give us feedback. At this point, just a note as a side info, a release candidate, so the 6.5 RC, is a version which is not intended for live operations. So in this video, I will present the most important innovations from the developer's point of view. So let's start with some changes and technical features. With the 6.5, the required version of PHP is 8.1 or higher, and the Node.js version is 18 or higher. Um, the performance in the administration has been improved enormously in many areas, measured against the new benchmark values. Shopware 6.5 performance has been optimized in the following areas compared to 6.5. Four, module, dashboard, product detail page, settings, file size, CSS, and file size, JS. Um, in our documentation, you can find an exact benchmark data per area in an Excel file. And the new queue system is now completely based on the standards of the Symfony Messenger. Uh, this allows changes to the queue memory from now on and multiple channels can be used to optimize the resource of the queue worker. So now I'll come to the new features. First of all, for better readability, the font has been changed to inter in the administration. And now here's our first new feature. We've improved the rule management because certain rule constellations with the rule builder are not useful for all areas. When you configure a rule now, all conditions are always displayed and the conditions that are not relevant are now grayed out. For example, just let us go to the marketing and promotions area, open a promotion, and go to the conditions tab. Here, for example, we've got the rule based conditions area. So now we can select rules, but the rules that are not relevant for this area are now grayed out. As a next feature, we've got new customer rules. So I'll stay at the or in the rule builder. So just go over settings and click on rule builder. Uh, create a new rule and then uh, yeah more customer rules have been implemented as conditions uh, you can use them for example for the rule builder or the flow builder so we've got the following new um, yeah rule implementations uh, you can see it just here affiliate code um, billing address state this one um, then we've got the campaign code, the customer age, this one, the customer created by admin, um, the customer is active, then we've got days since last login. Um, and the shipping address uh, state, this one. For the next feature, we'll go to the address management. But first of all, note, um, shipping to disabled countries has now changed. So if a country is disabled for shipping, um, the notice is already displayed in the registration when selecting the country. So now let's go to the address management. So go to the 
settings and then select the area countries and you will find a new section to define the validation for the postal code. So let's open a country and then we've got the address handling. So at the top you can choose between a standard validation and an advanced validation rule. So here you can enter your own regular expression. Um, as well, down here, you've now got the possibility, yeah, um, or a section to define the address format. So you can add additional fields and separators and drag and drop them. So, for example, put street in the last section and the country in the upper section, for example. Um, the layout is used in the storefront, administration and documents when address information is displayed. Next, we've improved the orders UX in the administration. So if you go into your orders and open an order, You'll see that from now on, the order information is now divided into different tabs. So we've got the general tab, the details tab, and the documents tab. Um, this makes it a lot easier for service agents to distinguish the necessary parts. And it's now also possible to preview orders that are created from within the admin before actually yeah, placing them. Um, from the shopware rise plan on, there will also be a separate tab for returns. For the next feature, just go to your flow builder. There we've now got delayed flow actions, but note that this feature is only part of the beyond plan. Yeah, this uh, feature allows you to trigger one or more actions after a certain period of time. So you can, yeah, create flows with time delay. Uh, for example, I opened the order placed flow and clicked on the flow tab. And yeah, I created a time delay so that you could, for example, send automated mails two hours or one hour after an order has been placed. Um, the scheduled actions are displayed in the flow in a separate list. With the next feature, you can now create returns and partial returns directly from an order. So for this feature, change or go to your order overview and just call up an order which has been yeah, shipped just like this. And now when you select an item, you have the option to return the item and set the status. So if you click on return items, you can yeah select the return quantity. I'll just test uh, yeah three with you. We could also enter a comment and create a return. After that, you will automatically get to the returns tab where you can find all the necessary information about the returns or the positions or the status history. Um, just as it says here, it's necessary to save before you leave the page. Last but not least, we've got the tax provider feature. So with this feature, external tax services can be connected in countries like, for example, the USA, different and partly complex tax systems apply, uh, which can only be mapped practically by using external tax services. So you would or you can connect tax providers and you would find them under settings, tax and then in your tax area here. Um, the external tax providers are listed in this section here and you can activate, deactivate them individually and set priorities or define a rule 
in the edit mode. Finally, I would like to introduce you to a new feature that will appear with the 6420. Go to the products under catalogs and open a product. Here you now have the possibility to write a product description with a module with the help of AI. This will save you a lot of time. Simply open the module and enter keywords here. Then press on generate and wait a second. The short wait will have been worth it because here comes your product description of AI. These were the new and relevant features that come with the 6.5. In case of a release candidate, breaking changes can still occur up to the release if they are carried out as part of bug fixes. After the release of the release candidate until the final version, no new features are added, only bugs are fixed. So with the release candidate, you already have an overview of the almost final version of the Shopware 6.5. Developer relevant changes and developer news can be found as usual on our Shopware page in the release news.